Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will show you how to enhance all ancient equipment in Dragon Nest C. I will also provide information on the materials in gold required to enhance a specific ancient equipment. Important note. This video guide requires a full understanding of how to farm ancient equipment materials. If you're new to Dragon Nest C, I highly advise that you watch my video about the ancient equipment material farming guide first. Now, without further ado, let's start. We will first tackle the ancient armors. Following that, we'll move on to the ancient weapons, and lastly, we will cover the ancient accessories. For those who are new to Dragon Nest, you can craft the ancient armor, weapons, and accessories at the blacksmith NPC in town. The crafting page for ancient armor, weapons, and accessories is under the equipment tab. Okay, let's focus first on crafting and enhancing tier 1 ancient armors. To craft a full set of tier 1 ancient armors, you will need 10 pieces of each different kind of ancient armor fragments corresponding to the armor part, along with a total of 3000 ancient insignia and 500 gold, as each craft requires 100 gold. Again, if you don't know where and how to get these ancient armor materials, I highly suggest watching my comprehensive guide for beginners on how to farm these ancient equipment materials. In my case, I already have the required amount of materials in gold to craft a full set of tier 1 ancient armor. I will now craft all tier 1 ancient armor parts. Hmm. Let me make you something useful for your journey. Now that I have a full set of tier 1 ancient armor, Let's focus on enhancement. Enhancing tier 1 ancient armors requires three ancient equipment enhancement materials, which are ancient armor fragments, ancient knowledge, and ancient insignia. Also, don't forget the gold enhancement fee. To enhance tier 1 ancient armors from plus 0 to plus 10, you will need a total of 60 ancient armor fragments, 248 ancient knowledge, 2200 ancient insignia, and a total of 20,000 gold for the enhancement fee. And to enhance tier 1 ancient armors from plus 10 to plus 20, you will need a total of 212 ancient armor fragments, 809 ancient knowledge, 2800 ancient insignia, and a total of 152,000 gold for the enhancement fee. If you're going to enhance a tier 1 ancient armor from plus 0 to plus 20, you will need a total of 272 ancient armor fragments, 1057 ancient knowledge, 5000 ancient insignia, and a total of 172,000 gold for the enhancement fee. In my case, I have a decent amount of ancient equipment materials, so I will enhance all of my tier 1 ancient armors from plus 0 to plus 20. I will need 272 ancient armor fragments for each armor part, 5285 ancient knowledge, 25000 ancient insignia, and a total of 860,000 gold for the enhancement fee. Please take note that when enhancing tier 1 ancient armors, you don't have to worry about enhancement failure or breaking because the success rate is set to 100% for all enhancement levels. Okay, now that I'm done enhancing all of my tier 1 ancient armors to plus 20, let's tackle the next question. How to evolve plus 20 tier 1 ancient armors to tier 2 ancient armor? To evolve a plus 20 tier 1 ancient armor to tier 2, you will need an item called Anxion's Memory. The crafting information for this item is also available on the crafting page for tier 1 ancient armors, located below it. To craft one, you will need 365 spring gems, 100 summer gems, 9999 autumn gems, 2 winter gems, and 2 anxions energy. These are all the obtain location table for each seasonal gem. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. As for ancient energy, here is the source for obtaining it. 
If you want to learn more in depth on how to farm ancient energy or any other ancient equipment materials, I highly suggest watching this video for a more comprehensive understanding. Before we move on to the ancient weapons, let's address the most frequently asked question in the game, which is better? Kilos or ancient armors? In terms of stats, a plus 0 tier 1 ancient armor is equal to a plus 20 tier 2 kilos armor. A plus 10 or plus 20 tier 1 ancient armor surpasses the plus 20 tier 2 kilos armor in terms of raw stats. Their only difference lies in their utility or their specific use cases. If you're going to do frozen nest content like frozen dragon nest, a plus 20 tier 2 kilos armor is the best suited armor to use compared to ancient armor. Why you ask? It is because ancient armors cannot equip frozen heart dragon jades, but kilos armors can. Since you will need a lot of frozen world adaptability to counter the frozen world negative debuff, the frozen heart dragon jade provides the solution. Okay, but what is the difference between tier 1 ancient armor and tier 2 ancient armors? Tier 1 ancient armor and tier 2 ancient armor have the same stats, but their only difference is that tier 2 ancient armor has an extra attack type dragon jade slot, allowing it to equip an additional attack type armor lunar eclipse dragon jade. Now that we're done discussing ancient armors, let's now focus on tier 1 ancient weapons. The crafting page for tier 1 ancient weapons is just right on top of the crafting page for ancient armors. Crafting main and secondary ancient weapons requires a total of 20 faded ancients weapon fragments because each craft requires 10 per craft, 200 thread of intellect because each craft requires 100, and a total of 200 gold for the crafting fee. If you don't know which or what your character class's main and secondary weapon to craft is, here is the table info for all class specializations main and secondary weapons. Feel free to pause the video to find your specific class specialization. Okay, now that I've crafted my tier 1 main and secondary ancient weapons, let's focus on enhancement. When enhancing tier 1 ancient weapons, you will need Faded Ancients Weapon Fragment, Joys and Sorrows of Kilos, Thread of Intellect, and Gold for the enhancement fee. To farm Faded Ancients Weapon Fragment, these are the main ways to obtain it. I've discussed how to farm Faded Ancients Weapon Fragments in depth in this video, so make sure to watch it if you're enhancing a tier 1 ancient weapons. As for Joys and Sorrows of Kilos and Thread of Intellect, these are their obtained locations. You can exchange Ancient Knowledge for Joys and Sorrows of Kilos and Ancient Insignia for Thread of Intellect from the Priestess of Darkness NPC located in this part of Saint Haven. You can perform the exchange in the Stage Store under the Material tab. Okay. Now that you know how to obtain the enhancement materials for tier 1 ancient weapons, let's focus on how many materials in gold we need to enhance tier 1 ancient weapons to plus 10 and plus 20. To enhance tier 1 ancient weapons from plus 0 to plus 10, you will need 400 faded ancient weapon fragments, 284 joys and sorrows of kilos, 1800 thread of intellect, and 4400 gold for the enhancement fee. And to enhance tier 1 ancient weapons from plus 10 to plus 20, you will need 1,985 faded ancient weapon fragments, 952 joys and sorrows of kilos, 5,400 thread of intellect, and 21,000 gold for the enhancement fee. To enhance tier 1 ancient weapons from plus 0 to plus 20, you will need 2,385 faded ancient weapon fragments, 1,236 joys and sorrows of kilos, 7,200 thread of intellect, and 25,400 gold for the enhancement fee. If you want to skip the craft and enhancement hassle, you can directly buy a plus 20 tier 1 ancient weapon selection box in the trading house using gold. This box will directly give you a plus 20 tier 1 ancient weapon of your choice. In my case I will enhance my main and secondary tier 1 ancient weapon to plus 20. 
please take note that when enhancing tier 1 ancient weapons, you don't have to worry about enhancement failure or breaking because the success rate is set to 100% for all enhancement levels. Okay, now that I'm done enhancing my tier 1 ancient weapons to plus 20, the next step is to evolve them into tier 2 ancient weapons. Under the ancient weapon crafting page, we will need to craft 2 ancients honor to be able to evolve a plus 20 tier 1 ancient weapons to tier 2. We will need otherworldly weapon fragments and ancient insignia to craft ancients honor. Here's a quick summary of where you can get these materials, or you can watch this video to learn more about ancient equipment farming. Okay, now that I'm done crafting 2 Ancients Honor, I will now use this item to evolve my plus 20 tier 1 Ancient Weapons. Okay, you may ask, what's the difference between a plus 20 tier 1 Ancient Weapon and a plus 0 or plus 20 tier 2 Ancient Weapon? In terms of stats, plus 20 tier 1 ancient weapons and plus 0 tier 2 ancient weapons are the same. However, you can enhance tier 2 ancient weapons even further to plus 20. The only difference lies between the tier 1 main and tier 2 main weapons because the tier 1 main weapon skill dragon jade slot is only one, while the tier 2 main weapon can equip two skill dragon jades. Okay, now that you know the difference between tier 1 ancient weapon and tier 2 ancient weapon, Let's now focus on enhancing Tier 2 Ancient Weapons. To enhance Tier 2 Ancient Weapons from plus 0 to plus 10, you will need 123 Otherworldly Ancient Weapon Fragments, 177 Ancient Knowledge, 2200 Ancient Insignia, and 20,000 Gold for the Enhancement Fee. And to enhance Tier 2 Ancient Weapons from plus 10 to plus 20, you will need 434 Otherworldly Ancient Weapon Fragments, 546 Ancient Knowledge, 2800 Ancient Insignia, and 172,000 Gold for the Enhancement Fee. To enhance Tier 2 Ancient Weapons from plus 0 to plus 20, you will need 557 Otherworldly Ancient Weapon Fragments, 723 Ancient Knowledge, 5000 Ancient Insignia, and 192,000 Gold for the Enhancement Fee. In my case, I already have the required amount of material to enhance both Tier 2 Ancient Weapons from plus 0 to plus 20. Please take note that when enhancing Tier 2 Ancient Weapons, you don't have to worry about enhancement failure or breaking because the success rate is set to 100% for all enhancement levels. Okay, you may now ask, which is better, a plus 10 Legend Tiger Weapon or a plus 20 Tier 2 Ancient Weapon? Stats-wise, the plus 20 tier 2 ancient weapon is better. However, if you are going to do or enter Frozen Dragon Nest, the plus 10 legend tiger weapon is the better choice because tiger weapons have frozen world adaptability, which is crucial for countering the negative frozen world debuff in Frozen Dragon Nest. Okay, now that we're done discussing ancient weapons, let's focus on ancient accessories. The ancient accessory crafting page is just under the ancient armor crafting page. To craft ancient accessories, we will need unknown ancient accessory fragments and ancient insignia. I will need a total of 40 unknown ancient accessory fragments, 400 ancient insignia, and 400 gold for the crafting fee to craft one necklace, one earring, and two rings. Now that I've crafted a whole set of ancient accessories, let's now focus on enhancing. Enhancing ancient accessories requires unknown ancient accessory fragments, ancient knowledge, ancient insignia, and gold for the enhancement fee. To enhance ancient accessories from plus 0 to plus 10, you will need 100 unknown ancient accessory fragments, 50 ancient knowledge, 
1,000 ancient insignia, and 10,000 gold for the enhancement fee. And to enhance ancient accessories from plus 10 to plus 20, you will need 475 unknown ancient accessory fragments, 238 ancient knowledge, 4,751 ancient insignia, and 47,509 gold for the enhancement fee. To enhance ancient accessories from plus 0 to plus 20, you will need 575 unknown ancient accessory fragments, 288 ancient knowledge, 5,751 ancient insignia, and 57,509 gold for the enhancement fee. Please take note that when enhancing ancient accessories, from plus 1 to plus 10, the enhancement success is set to 100%, and beyond plus 10, the enhancement success gradually decreases the higher the enhancement level. But in my case, I will only enhance my ancient accessories to plus 10. If you have a lot of materials to use and if you're feeling lucky, then feel free to take the risk and enhance ancient accessories to plus 11 and beyond. Okay, you may now ask, which is better, a plus 10 set of Legend Tiger accessories or a plus 10 set of Ancient accessories? Stats-wise, the plus 10 set of Legend Tiger accessories is better. However, if you are going to do or enter Frozen Dragon Nest, the plus 10 set of Legend Tiger accessories is the better choice because Tiger accessories have Frozen World adaptability, which is crucial for countering the negative Frozen World debuff in Frozen Dragon Nest. And there you have it. Before you go, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.